All right. And when we do the concert one, say, hey, check out the nice shoes. Yeah, we, we could cross promote or. <laughs> cross promote. <laughs> All right, hi everybody, and hi. welcome to our latest episode of Jana Reacts. Um, we have a fun one for you. This is Jana here, hello, and this is the series where we react to some notable, usually prog music, and you know Jana's kind of a first-time listener. We've been doing kind of a special series throughout May, where we're kind of reacting to some of the biggest artists that we've covered over the past year, kind of celebrating our one-year anniversary of the channel and of Jana Reacts, and so we've kind of compiled what the top viewed artists mm -hmm. are for for Jana Reacts and uh, by and large, you know, there's no competition. The top viewed band that we cover is Nightwish and we've done four videos by them and they've all done really well and we got so much support and a lot of love from the Nightwish army who've really found our videos and have given a lot of positive feedback and commentary and it's been probably the band you've connected with most on yeah. the channel, even though it's probably the least <laughs> progressive rock thing we we've done who knew i liked metal yeah you're a big fan of the symphonic metals big yeah. enough fan that we actually went to their concert this past week yeah. so and we plan to talk about it more in full in a future video <clears throat> or maybe a it video be, coming yeah, around the same time simultaneous as this video yeah so, so check that one out watching this one switch to the other one then yeah. you can watch the our our concert review and then um some footage that we took at the at the concert so. yeah and so i yeah. I poured through the common sections of all the different Nightwish videos we've done to try to find like the consensus, like what's the big song that we haven't covered yet that people would like to see. And there were a couple that really stood out, but one that stood out to me is The Poet and the Pendulum, which a lot of people remarked as one of their their biggest songs. So And this one they did not do at the concert. Yeah, and they did, didn't do this one at the concert. That was the other reason why I thought this would be a good choice, because there were a couple others that were in contention, but they played some of those at the concert we went to, and I wanted to pick a song we haven't heard at all, even... Mm during the concert so this is a new song that we haven't heard yet the poet and the pendulum this is from Wembley 2015 live version um so i thought this would be cool and i've heard a lot in the comments like people saying if you do this one maybe you should know some of the backstory behind the song just to kind of prepare yourselves and to get more out of it i guess um so I i've kind of looked up kind of the history of the song a little bit what it's about mm -hmm. just to and we've both read a little bit about that just to kind of be a little bit prepared for for what the song is about a little bit so yeah and we're ready i guess right? we're ready we can listen okay. right all right i'm excited ready yes they're amazing it's always exciting <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go
2005, two of us was called from the cares of the world. He stopped crying at the end of each beautiful day. The music he wrote had too long been without silence. He was found naked and dead, with a smile on his face, a pen, and 1,000 pages of erased text. <laughs> what a journey yeah that's quite a big oh. piece of music there like takes you on quite the journey yeah. kind of an emotional yeah story i was sure. tearing up a couple different times and yeah. just um wow her voice is amazing it's very like heavenly ethereal like yeah like just oh the way it, the way it comes in at the beginning and then comes in again at the end, but then all of the the strong performance singing in the middle it was just 
Yeah. So she good. can do it all. She can do like mm -hmm. the heavy singing. She can do like operatic, you know, beautiful yeah. stuff. And it's just, she can convey all the emotions of these mm -hmm. different pieces, the like anger, the sadness, the, you know. And one of the other singers sang in this as yeah, well, that's true. which I don't think any of our other video, like in any of the other videos we've seen, we've, we've reacted to, they've done that. It's always just been her. Yeah. So. Mostly. Yeah, um, I so think that so. was great. I mean, in the concert, like we, a bunch of them were singing. Yeah, so, there was other um, other singers. But so that was cool to see that here. So. Yeah, it was great. <sighs> <laughs> I feel overwhelmed by it. It yeah. was just really, really good. It was just this long kind of story that that took you on, like you said, took you on a journey. Yeah, just really beautiful, oh. but sad and yeah. dark a little bit too. Because I believe it. Reading into the story, it sounds like one of their main, their keyboard player and songwriter, Tomos, if I get that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, it was about kind of this dark state of mind that, that yeah. he was in. Basically, they lost their their original singer, and it seemed like the band might have ended at that point, mm -hmm. and it was a dark time, and, you know, kind of this dark feeling of, like, you know, will I not be able to, to get my music out there anymore? Yeah. And just this, like, kind of darkness of, like, this beautiful thing that, that he was a part of it was yeah. all of a sudden ending. And, it and so it was, kinda... like, this projection into, like, what would happen. Yeah. <laughs> just going down a dark hole. Going and... down that dark path of, like, uh. you know, sadness and suicidal thoughts and, and all of these kind mm. of negative feelings. But, of course the the band continued with a new singer and everything worked yeah. out but but yeah this is kind of an exploration into that dark dark mindset yeah. and and you know following that path of of those feelings so great so emotional yeah. so like um overwhelming like an overwhelming of feeling i don't like i don't know how to quite explain it yeah. but it was just it was just mm. yeah they're able to to do <laughs> A lot with their music, with their storytelling, because I feel like they go beyond a little bit of a lot of the kind of more standard metal that I've heard because they're able to infuse different elements into it. They're able to do multi-part stories and they're able to put in these symphonic elements and different kind of sounds and styles. And it just makes for a really good mixture and why I think they're one of the perfect bands for kind of a prog fan like me if I'm delving into this symphonic metal some of it sounds a little bit straightforward and, and similar and you know same kind of driving riffs and beats that can kind of be a little boring to me at times but Nightwish is never that way they they have so much variety and excitement in the yeah. music and they go th through these like softer kind of ballad type sections but mm -hmm. then hit you with some heavier like more metal type sections and bring in this symphonic element with the orchestration mm. in the background and all this kind of stuff and throw it all into one song and it's just beautiful. So great. So really good. I really love this piece. One of my favorites mm. that we've looked at, you know, a little bit like some of them are more fun and more light yeah. and more, you know, entertaining, but this was more of a, of a deeper dive and more of an emotional story. Yeah. So kind of a different facet of the band. But I concur with all of that. Still really great. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I know yeah. there's a large group of our fan base that are big Nightwish fans as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video yeah. and a chance to re-listen to this fantastic piece of yeah. music. And stick around for our concert review. Yeah, check that out the concert review. coming out um, probably right Probably away, around the same, the same time. time as this video. Yeah, so. that's kind of the plan. We're still like, <laughs> we still need to film it and edit it. And so... We're not sure completely, but that's the plan at yeah. this moment is to kind of release these on the same day as kind of a one-two, you know, punch of Nightwish. Yep. <laughs> so, so go see that video. So yeah, go check that one out. Thank you guys so much for your support, especially you Nightwish Army fans. You guys this, are great. I you feel know. like I can call myself this. Yeah. Part of the Nightwish Army. Yeah, now. for sure. Because <laughs> we've been to a concert. We've been to a concert and we've seen so many <laughs> other videos now. So... We're I trying mean. to consider ourselves <laughs> part of the, the fans of the army. So thank you guys. You know, We're really a lot of these Nightwish <laughs> videos are kind of what really helped the channel along. And so I'm really grateful for that yeah. and for all the support. So thank you guys so much. And please keep enjoying the music out there, whether it's Nightwish or other 
bands or artists that you're enjoying. So thank yep. you guys, and hopefully we'll see you in another video. Bye. Bye, Enjoy everybody. The music. Bye.